Hello, it's me, May Lisa, your Arts for All teaching artist. You can call me Miss May. In this video, we will be putting on our very own puppet show, retelling where the wild things are. You'll need your body, your voice, your imagination, and the puppets you made from the last video. Before we get started, let's warm up. As we warm up our bodies, make sure you do things that feel good on your own body. You can follow me as best you can, but if you have to change something, do something a bit different so that it feels good on your body, that's a good idea. Let's start by sending our energy up, upwards energy. Up, 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 good. And downwards energy, down, 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 down. And again, upwards, up, 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 and down, 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 down. Good, now we're gonna reach over to one side. Reach and stretch. Reach and stretch to the other side. Reach and stretch again. Reach and stretch to the other side. And now we're going to twist, 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 twist to the other way, twist, 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 good. Now roll your shoulders, roll those shoulders, put your shoulders up and shrug. And now move your hips in a big circle. And a circle the other way. Now we are going to get as small as we can, like a seed. And we are going to grow, grow, grow like a tree. All right, I'm gonna to count to eight. In eight counts, get as tall as you can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, stretch your branches, seven, eight, like a tree. Good, let's do it again. Get as small as you can. This time we're going to do it in four counts. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good, shake it up, shake it out, get as small as you can. Now we're going to do it in two counts. Get as tall as you can in two counts. Ready? One, two. <laughs> good, shake it up, get as small as you can. And now we're gonna get as tall as we can and stretch our branches in one count. Here we go, ready? And one. <laughs> All right, now we are gonna shake out our entire body as we count down from 10 to zero. Ready? Count with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. All right. Now that we're warmed up, it's time for our rehearsal. That's our practice. First thing you'll do in our puppet show is be a tree. If you made a puppet for a tree, you can use that, or you can use your body. So do you remember when trees grow in Max's room? That's your cue to use your body to grow like a tree. When you see or hear about the ocean or Max in a boat, you'll use your voice to make the sounds of the ocean. Let's practice. Okay. 
Then Max will arrive to the place where the wild things are. Then it's time for you to use your wild thing puppet. Practice bouncing your wild thing puppet around and you can use your voice for the wild rumpus. Then the wild things go to sleep. Can you put your wild thing to sleep? What does your wild thing sound like when it's sleeping? Next will be your big line. Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. Remember to use your wild thing voice and you can move your puppet around. You can move your puppet any way you like to help tell the story. Let's practice in our wild thing voice, our big line. Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. Great rehearsal, everyone. Now it's showtime. You've got this. If you need to pause the video here to gather up all your materials and get ready, go ahead and pause. And let's get ready for the show. Where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by. with a private quote for Max. And he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, Be still! And tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him the king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes 
and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot. Wonderful performance, everyone. Give yourselves a hand. Great work using your body, your voice, your puppets, and of course, your imagination. Now we're gonna cool down. Let's take three deep breaths together. Now I want you to close your eyes and think about what your favorite part was, something that you think you did really well in that performance. I hope you're feeling good. If you were performing with classmates or family or friends, talk to each other about what you think they did really well in the performance and what your favorite parts were. Thank you.